this presentation is about the security governance models and decision support tools developed in the scope of the Panacea project. In a general context, organizations are adopting cybersecurity governance models to manage cyber risks as effectively as possible. One of the main issues faced by the healthcare organizations is the lack of specific tools able to provide decision makers with concrete and actionable recommendations in order to evaluate the cybersecurity management system of the healthcare organization, create a specific IT security entity to govern the cybersecurity, and evaluate the cybersecurity return on investment. At this scope, two main tools have been designed, developed, and pre-tested in specific healthcare context. From one side, the Panacea Resilience Governance Model, able to cover the first two issues. It is composed by two uh, independent but strongly related modules that are the Healthcare Cybersecurity Governance Tool and the Healthcare Cybersecurity Organization Structure Model. From the other side, the Panacea Financial Viability Multidimensional Model, able to solve the third mentioned issue, which is composed by ESMS measurement indexes and by a specific cybersecurity return on investment. So going more into detail of the first model and starting from the Healthcare Cybersecurity Governance Tool, uh, what we can say is that uh, the main purpose of the tool is to evaluate the overall information security management system of an healthcare organization. That is a standard, standard system for the cybersecurity management. The HCG tool is based on the main European and national reference security standards that are highlighted in this slide. Thanks to this aspect, the tool can identify the level of gaps of the SMS with respect to the different cybersecurity standards tailored to security aspects of the healthcare domain. The HGC tool allows to identify the dedicated mitigated actions to be carried out in order to build or improve the SMS is uh, ISMS, acting as a fundamental tool to support management decisions. The output of the tool as a graphic interface to better understand the results. Moving then to the healthcare cybersecurity organization model, the main purpose of the model is to manage, deploy, and improve the cybersecurity governance system of the healthcare organizations. The model is made up a set of guidelines for designing a specific IT security organizational entity. This model allows to identify specific roles and responsibilities for governing cybersecurity. Moreover, the main concept of the IT security entity modeling is to map roles and responsibilities necessary to govern, manage, and implement cybersecurity across the organization. In particular, the application workflow consists in answering to following main questions for each ISMS security process related. Who, what, where, and how must, can, should this specific cybersecurity issue be managed? The outcome of this application workflow let us to design the IT security entity. Finally, focusing on the financial multidimensional viability model, what we can say is that the model expands the outcomes of the RGT tool by adding an economic dimension to the ISMS maturity assessment. In fact, its main purpose is to evaluate the return on investment in the main field of cybersecurity. First of all, it has been approached a map of the investment needed to reach the maximum maturity level of the organization's information security management system. Therefore, ESMS maturity level is directly linked to each security process and related systems through a dimensional indexes, such as the ESMS maturity level growth and the SMS economic effort. 
The definition of the mentioned indexes allowed us to outline the formulation of the cyber ROI related to a specific investment scenario, which has been defined as their ratio. In this way, decision makers can have the capability to assess the cybersecurity actions, even thanks to the economic financial dimension of the Cyber ROI Index associated to different possible action scenarios that the RGT tool helps to define. To conclude, the tool and the model, which have been designed, developed and pre-tested, can help organization in order to evaluate the cybersecurity governance system, realize an innovative IT security structure entity complain with the significant standards, but also with the particular reality, define the set of actions to put in place at the main aim of increasing the compliance needs of the organization and prioritize cybersecurity investment through the definition of the cybersecurity ROI. Finally, with specific regards to the service delivery model, they can help and standardize a typical consulting service in the specific healthcare domain related to security governance issues. Thanks for the attention.